Welcome to the webinar by Fictive, the fast and easy way to get high quality parts from prototyping to production. My name is Steve Melito, and I'll be your moderator today. You're about to learn about some recent improvements to Fictive's digital manufacturing platform. These software enhancements apply to injection molding and cover design for manufacturing or DFM. We know you like the DFM feedback that Fictive provides and the value that you'll get between the time you request a quote and the time you place an order. Next slide, please. So our first presenter today is Kyle Adams, one of our technical applications engineers or TAEs. Kyle will review the current DFM experience and later on tell us more about how the new process works and what it can do for you. We'll also hear from Payam Barshoi, Senior Product Manager. Payam will show us the new experience in the Fictive platform so that you can see the DFM workflow changes for yourself. Next slide, please. So today's agenda has four parts. First, we're gonna look at the purpose of the current DFM process. Second, we'll look at the new platform. Third, we'll examine the benefits of the changes. And then fourth and finally, we'll have a question and answer session. So let's get started and hear from Kyle Adams. Welcome, Kyle. Thanks, Steve, appreciate that. Hey, everyone, nice of you to join us. Go ahead and go to the next slide. So what I wanna show real quick is kind of the purpose of our DFM process. What is What does it bring? What's the value? Um, obviously, as many of you know from, from DFMs, it is a tremendous upside that it, that it brings. Um, it's obviously, main purpose is to provide you with some early manufacturability reviews of your part geometry. We look at things like draft, uh, thickness, design uh, issues as far as just general manufacturability, just to make sure that your design is ready to be molded at the get-go. Uh, this is something that we are offering early on, so it's an opportunity for you at the beginning stages um, to fix any of those design issues before you get down the road. So you can fix those issues at the quote stage versus after the fact that your PO is in place. These fixes actually help you save money because it can actually allow you to make those changes to bring costs down, to bring timing down, uh, and just help you with the overall outcome. As I said, it's provided at the time of quote. This helps so that you are not at, again, time of order and then waiting two weeks down the road to be making changes, and then we get started. So we provide you a DFM at the time of quote, not the time of order. And again, because we're doing that, it actually speeds up that process. Our current process, it is a communication that is all done offsite. So we utilize PowerPoint slides that require downloading, emailing, and it can become an, an endless loop of email communication. So this is actually the, the solution that we are solving with our improvements. So I want to turn it back over to my colleague, Payam, and Payam can explain the improvements we'll be making. Thank you so much, Kyle. Uh, yeah, that was a great segue, actually talking about the current process and how the new enhancements are going to improve that process. So before I start a demo, I would like to kind of point out the, uh, the major areas of improvements to this process and uh, we can take it from there. So number one, uh, the new experience will include a summary of all the topics, all the DFM topics that have been covered for each part in your quote as a customer. And then number two, uh, you can actually view the content of each DFM report on platform instead of uh, basically having to download a file and seeing the file, uh, seeing the content of the DFM on a file. And third, you can actually go through the approval process, meaning approving what you have received from Fictive right on platform uh, uh, without any kind of email communication or going back and forth on PowerPoint files or anything like that. And uh, fourth, if you need to uh, actually ask a question or make a comment, uh, you can totally do that on platform and we have uh, enabled that as part of this uh, new feature set. And uh, last but not least, our platform 
uh, is going to help you in keeping the uh, keeping track of the status of each DFM topic separately and make it as a reference to basically all the activities that have been done by you as a customer and by a fictive team member. So everyone knows what has gone on uh, with respect to each part and all the DFM topics. So with that, um, I'm going to start with a quote that I have already prepared uh, for this demo. Uh, this particular quote has three uh, items or three uh, parts that are basically configured to be injection, uh, injection molded. Um, as you can see, uh, this is already priced by Fictive Team and was sent back to the uh, customer here. And each part is associated with a DFM report. Uh, so in order for me as a customer to be, be able to view the DFM report, um, I can click on uh, basically this DFM available button and it takes me to a new tab that we have added to the quote detail page on your uh, fictive uh, platform account. So over here, uh, we are showing you the summary that I was talking about. So each of the three parts, as you can see, are in different statuses of approval, right? So one requires a revision. The other one uh, basically just needs approval because like there are uh, there is not nothing serious that uh, can jeopardize the manufacturability of the part. And there is a third part that um, is pending fictive review because um, I have already reviewed it as a customer and I had some questions. So now let's dig deeper. Uh, if I click on show DFM topics, I can see all the topics that have been covered as part of this particular report for this particular part. And uh, same goes to the other parts. So as you can see, for example, this part, again, the same topics, but different statuses, right? And uh, third part, again, I have already gone through this part, for example, and I had some questions. That's why this is on pending fixed review. Now let's dig even deeper and start reviewing a part that has not been reviewed. Uh, if I click on the view feedback button, it will take me to a new model that we have designed for the purpose of reviewing the um, uh, basically DFM content. So in this model, uh, you can see, so instead of basically PowerPoint pages and PowerPoint slides, you, you can see the slides right on platform and each slide is uh, 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 has its own topic uh, and uh, the content of the slide, the message from Victive as to like what uh, actually is needed or if there is any kind of serious manufacturability risk with respect to this part, with respect to that particular uh, topic of DFM analysis. And then um, uh, here's the status of this slide or the action that is required by the customer. So let's go one by one. So the first slide, uh, basically uh, in, the, uh, in the message area, uh, Fictive is asking me to actually increase the draft angle for, for some of the sides of this part because uh, it doesn't have enough draft and it may cause some um, uh, uh, basically drag marks or uh, any kind of defects uh, if it's injection molded the way it is. So it requires me to uh, actually upload a new revision of the part with uh, based on the instructions that Fictive have given me. So the action that is required by me here, for example, is to uh, mark it as um, a revision required or basically uh, I can um, agree to that um, um, uh, that revision and say, okay, uh, basically, I'm going to upload the revision later, but at this point, I just agree with uh, the suggestion. And as you can see, it is logged uh, for this particular um, feedback. Uh, I go through the other feedbacks um, uh, slides uh, real quick. So with that, I'm actually done with this part. And I can move on to the next part here. So on this part, I just need to approve this um, uh, basically analysis. There's no problem here, so I just approve it. On this one, I have already uh, asked the question, uh, right? Because I wasn't sure why uh, there is like a risk or there's a problem here. So, um, uh, and it is very simple to actually ask a question. So we have this annotation capability that allows our customers to annotate on a particular uh, uh, slide and ask their questions, make their comments. So I have actually used that functionality to do that. 
and it automatically changes the status of that particular uh, feedback slide to pending fictive review because someone from fictive needs to take a look at that question and be able to answer it. Um, same thing here, approved, no problem here, approved. So as I do that on each part, you can see that the, uh, the status of the part in the summary page also gets updated. So let me go through the last part real quick as well. So this first slide is talking about a warning. Uh, again, there is a chance that uh, if we don't add enough draft, there might be some drag marks, but let's say as a customer, I'm fine with that. This, these areas are not gonna be visible to the end consumer. It's kind of, kind of internal sides of the part. So I'm just gonna approve and accept the, uh, the warning here. And the uh, same goes to all the other ones that uh, have no problem and I can just go ahead and approve them. Cool. Um, so what we can see here is I have one part that is ready to go because basically everything is green. I have approved everything and this part is ready to go. I have one part that is pending fictive review because I had a question I'm waiting for fictive to get back to me on that. And I have one part that is pending my uh, new revision of the CAD model and I can uh, basically do that at any time by using this button. So let's say I need to go back to my um, uh, CAD design um, 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 application, uh, do the changes that Fictive have asked of me and uh, come back here and upload it from here. Uh, at this point, because I'm done with um, my reviews, I can use this button that says notify Fictive. Upon click of this button, a message gets uh, sent to my Fictive representative so that they know that I'm done reviewing what they have sent me as the DFM feedback and they will get back to me on those. Uh, so everything that we have gone through so far has to do with uh, a pre-order uh, stage of uh, uh, you know, the communication between Fictive and customer. Uh, but um, the DFM feature set that we have created is not limited to this communication before an order takes place. Because as we all know, even after an order is taking place, has taken place, um, um, the DFM conversation can continue, right? Uh, and uh, um, I just wanted to show you real quick how that's going to uh, show up after an order. So this is an order that uh, I've already prepared for the purpose of this demo. There is one line item uh, in this particular order. And uh, as you can see, this uh, familiar tab now is has been added to the order detail page as well, manufacturability feedback. When I click on it, um, I can see the same uh, summary view where I can see all the topics and the status of each topic. I can go through the same approval process uh, one slide at a time and uh, use the approval buttons to, uh, to actually approve or ask questions uh, however way uh, I want. So um, with that said, um, although I mentioned that uh, downloading is not a necessity anymore because everything is actually available on platform for the customer to view and uh, to communicate with Fictive and to approve everything. However, we have heard from our customers that uh, they uh, would need um, a copy of or a, a version of this DFM documentation for the purpose of their internal uh, documentation, for example, their quality documentation and stuff like that. So uh, that's why uh, we still kept the download functionality uh, available. And uh, when a customer uses this download functionality, we actually would generate, our platform would automatically generate a uh, PDF file that combines uh, the entire content of that report uh, in a PDF format and uh, uh, with the latest uh, approval uh, status, as you can see here, uh, which, and even if the customer has um, left any kind of uh, comment, fictive or customer has left any kind of comments or annotations on the, on the file, uh, they're gonna be uh, visible as well. So um, I think with that, um, we have covered all the functionalities as part of the new feature set enhancement for DFM. Thank you.
Great demos, Pi. I'm really appreciate it. That's going to be great to see in action. Uh, tying on to what, what you had said, the, the ability for this to all be on platform now with this new process, it allows us to have one single source of truth. You, you no longer have to deal with the, the, the balance of going to PowerPoint, going to email, going to a platform. It's all in one place. So it's all in that central location on platform. So having this option, having everything done in one place will allow you to have uh, ultimately a, a faster time to market. You don't have to be juggling. You don't have to be, to be going back and forth with, with less clutter, uh, saving time, and again, that streamlined communication. But the, the one thing to keep in mind is that, you know, the, the platform isn't the only, only option we have here. You know, we obviously have a, a whole team of, of people behind the scenes that can provide you with that guided expertise. You know, we can actually, if you have questions on a, a DFM slide, you know, we, we can get on a call, we can get on a, on, a, on a screen share and walk through each DFM slide, each DFM comment, and, and assist you with resolving what issues you may see, again, at that time of quote, to help speed along that process. So, perfect, next slide. All right, Steve. All right, very good. Thank you, Kyle, and thank you, Pime. We have a few questions from the audience already, so let's get right to them. And Pime, let's start with you, and we'll go to Kyle afterwards. But the first question is, how will this new enhancement to the injection molding platform change the user experience? So yeah, as I mentioned, um, so right now, um, if you want to compare it with the experience that is uh, being practiced right now, um, we are still using platform as the uh, source of uh, truth and system of record for the DFM content, but that content is uh, basically hidden within a file and the platform is just a holder of the file and basically a file repository at this point for the DFM. Um, with the new experience, what we are doing is we are actually um, extracting the, uh, the content of the file and exposing it on platform and making it possible for um, uh, for the users on both sides, um, the fictive team and uh, um, our customers, to communicate on each DFM topic uh, very particularly and very specifically. That in turn uh, would uh, save a lot of time, would uh, basically avoid a lot of confusions, and uh, uh, maybe the fact finding and history finding would be much easier uh, for both sides because the platform is going to keep track of all of the actions and all of the um, uh, changes to the status of each report very uh, granularly. So I can say basically it's going to be a time saver and uh, it's going to be, uh, speed up the process of uh, quote to order and uh, basically from order to kickoff and uh, uh, fabrication of the mold and uh, uh, fabrication of the parts eventually. Great. And Kyle, is there anything that you would like to add to that question? No, I think that Payam actually nailed it. I think that uh, it's going to give you all the information again, right then and there. Outstanding. So another question from the audience and Payam, I think this one is for you. Can I view the DFM notes and changes at any time? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the interesting thing that um, um, uh, basically uh, we have on platform is uh, uh, the view of the history of uh, the part revisions. So uh, let's imagine that uh, you have received a um, um, basically a DFM report on revision one of uh, your part A, right? And then uh, that revision and, and you have responded to it, but at some point you needed to uh, upload a new revision for part A and move it up to revision two, right? So that doesn't mean that all the communications that you have done as part of revision one is uh, not gonna be available to you. We have a revision history page in which you have full access to all the conversations and all the content that you have received with respect to revision one. And on revision two, because it's a new design now, right? You will receive a new DFM from Fictive and that uh, DFM report is uh, going to be uh, stored as part of the records of revision two. So Long story short, everything that you're doing on platform, either like the action is taken by a fictive team member in terms of answering a question or the action is taken by a customer in terms of approval or asking a question, will be recorded and will be um, uh, permanently um, basically held uh, within your fictive platform and you will always have access to it. Outstanding. So we've got time for one more question. Kyle, I think this one is for you. 
if I have questions during the DFM process, who do I ask? Great question. Yeah, the 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 salesperson who you work with who delivers a quote, um, they're actually your main point of contact. So if you engage your salesperson, uh, they can actually bring in someone like myself or a counterpart of mine to to help jump on a call and and go over those details. So. Yeah, the first line of defense that you should be reaching out to would absolutely be the the salesperson who you would be be working with directly. Outstanding. So Kyle and Payam both, thanks for taking those questions. And we're out of time today, but do you have a question about what you learned today? If you do, then please call area code 415-580-2509 and you can get an answer. Thank you for tuning into the webinar. On behalf of the group here, I'm Steve Melito signing off.